Okay guys, uh, on our way back to Pigeon Forge, and, and I know it's dark, but I wanted to share with you guys the tunnel. So they're doing work for the next two months. I think it's gonna be over when deer, it's gonna be over... They said between April and June, so it's more than two months. Okay, so sometime between April and June, they're supposed to have this complete. But just know that if you're coming in back from Gatlinburg, We've seen, we've seen people overheat and break down and we've heard tales of it's taken people two hours to get back to Pigeon Forge because the tunnel is down to one lane. They've got some speed bumps uh, placed in. That, that, here's the crazy thing. I, I, seen, I seen a sign that said 25 mile an hour and then I got down to 25 mile an hour and I hit those speed bumps and thought that I was going through the tunnel wall over here, of course, because my my truck is uh, got some crazy stiff suspension. So just keep that in mind. There are two speed bumps to slow people down because we don't need somebody going through the tunnel Mach 10 when we've got the people working. And, and if you've ever seen this tunnel or driven through it, you know there's not really room for vehicles and people, for people out of their car anyway. And they have size limits. You can't, nothing wider than nine feet. This was yeah. through here. And Nine feet, yeah. If you've got something over nine feet, then they're they're turning you around. They don't even want you to come this way. So just keep that in mind. Be mindful of that. We are close now. They've got some barrels here. To... And it's 12:30, so there's really not any traffic in January right now. So here's the 25 mile per hour speed limit. Yeah, the speed limit signs. Now we we have seen traffic backed way up into Gatlinburg for most of. Uh, most of these days that we've been over here. Um, and, it, and it's probably long overdue. I don't know when the last time that any maintenance was done on this bridge, but bridge, this tunnel. So I think they're going to go through and they're sealing some things. And, oh, the speed bumps are gone. Uh, wow, they did remove the speed bumps. That must have been a problem. It was definitely a problem for me. Uh, but yeah, they're going to they're gonna seal it up, put some fancy new lighting in, and so I'm sure it's I'm sure it's been a long overdue process, but it's a very tight squeeze. There's, there's very little lighting in here now. It looks like they started stripping some of the lights out. Yeah. Which wasn't very good. But looking forward to the new tunnel. And uh, hopefully they get that complete before traffic gets too crazy. We'll alleviate some of the spur. But I uh, thought I'd share that with you guys. Stick around, stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Saturday, we're about the noon hour. We're gonna try to jump out. We've got a whole mess of things that uh, we're trying to get caught up for for this morning. Saturdays are, are hectic, but what I do want to do is try and get through some of my, my amazing people here. Um, and I'm sorry we haven't gotten to this. We had a winter storm and we've been just go, 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 trying to rescue people. And I kind of lost sight of the, the Christmas things that, that you amazing folks have sent us. So I just want to say thank you again to all of our subscribers and all of you guys that have stopped by and, and gave us things and Christmas cards and just all kinds of cool. We I've even got somebody that messaged me last night that left something at the lot. Oh. Said they slid it under the under the fence. I think it was a wooden some sort of wooden thing. I'm not, I don't even know. I haven't got my eyes on it yet. Uh, but we're going to get over there. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've got, um, who do we need to get through? Christmas cards. Looks like we've got the Howard family from South Carolina. Look at these. Look at these guys. I mean, I, I've got <laughs> stacks. I've got stacks of cards. And it is just amazing. You guys are, wow, super cool. But yes, the, uh, the Howard family, South Carolina, sent us a card. Uh, and it's personalized. I just want to show it real quick. I got our name printed on there. The Belcher? Oh, the Howards also sent us that big box of stuff. Big box of stuff. Oh, yes, the Howards sent um, the bread and the um, cookies. Uh, the cookies. We Those were gone. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, guys, it's, this is January the 7th, and uh, all of the Christmas stuff that you guys sent us, that was really good. It, it really helped. Uh, we're in the truck running around. We don't have time to stop for food and things like that. So you guys sent us this bread and cookies and, and uh, all these little things we just throw them in the truck we throw them in the truck and and i promise they're delicious and we can't thank you guys enough for for keeping us uh keeping us going keeping the energy high on on the food but um the belchers um she she does she writes for dukes of hazard 
fan fiction, mm-hmm. and she says she watches the channel for information. So uh, that's really cool. So thanks to uh, Joni, Joni, uh, and um, I will butcher this one. It's Carrie Kier- and Seneca Weander, and I'm saying that wrong. I know. Carrie and Seneca and we Weander. Uh-huh. And this is the really cool part, guys. They are from Finland. So I've got a I got a Christmas card clean over from Finland. That's so cool. I, we've got yeah, I don't even know. That's guys, that's awesome. just amazing. You guys, we're reaching out that far. We're reaching out to places that uh, I would love to go visit. Uh, I know you guys watch us here because you see the area and, and uh, think it's really cool. But when I get cards like that, it makes me want to go visit you guys. So, I, I mean, maybe I'll be fortunate enough someday to, to travel to, to Finland and uh, get with Carrie and Seneca. <laughs> That's really cool. But appreciate you guys. Keith Sanders, as always, Keith, you're amazing. You sent us a card. We appreciate you in the comments. Always always keeping us going and always uplifting those. I, I Believe it or not, I do get through those comments, guys. And when I read them, it, it makes me smile and, and uh, keeps us going. So, Keith, we appreciate you. Uh, the Hobbs family also sent uh, the Live PD air freshener. I did some kind of crazy thing. So, guys, the, <laughs> the Live PD air freshener, I was able to catch an officer one night, and I gave him that, and he said he was going to take it down to uh, to dispatch office and put it in the office there, so all of the officers and all of the city people could enjoy that. I couldn't just hog that up to just my truck. It was a really cool thing, awesome. So the Hobbs family, thank you guys for that. That was that was a really cool, really cool gift. Uh, Chris Davison, uh, he also he sent us um, the Washington tag. Um, guys, I like to collect these license plates. That's really cool. We'll put them up in the garage. And um, it just reminds me of how many friends and family we have all over the world. So you know, I can look at that license plate and I'm like, you know, we got people in Washington that love us. And it's just a really cool reminder of, of you guys and sending us all this cool stuff. Uh, the Davison family, um, they sent us a card to Jason, Martha, Robert. We appreciate you guys. Uh, Gail and Danny uh, Dinkins, they sent us a card. We just got stacks and stacks mm-hmm. of cards, guys. Uh, the Vermont, so my wife was, she, uh, Kristen says, I've always wanted to go to Vermont and try the uh, the maple syrup, and we've got a jug of it that we have not tried yet. One of these mornings when we're not pressed for a rush out the door to get in the truck, I promise we will, uh, we will pour these on some pancakes. Or we've been known to have breakfast at midnight. <laughs> eight o'clock we've been known to have breakfast any time of the day it's always a good time for breakfast so we've got that they also sent a very nice card they did they sent a very nice card and uh we've got a little private note here from them just know guys that we're thinking about you and we're sending positive vibes and and thoughts that way and thank you for sharing just thank Mm -hmm. you for sharing with us all you've got going on here and just a just a really cool card (laughs) gary monroe so gary I, i get we love you, Gary. I get I get some of these. He's, About he, once a month. He, yeah. he sends out some stuff. Uh, but I've, I've got stacks of stuff from over the weeks that he has sent me. I will sit down and I'll try to, to do a video. But probably the easiest thing to do with this, we get people from all over the world that like to come visit us. So my plans with Gary's amazing artwork and cool things. I'm going to put it all together in like one big uh, scrapbook. And if you guys are ever in town or you swing by the shop, just grab Gary's scrapbook and go through it here personally. I'll try to do a a video. There's just so much cool stuff that I need need to share with our YouTube family. I really do. The latest one. I mean, Gary's just, of course, you guys know if you don't know, uh, Gary sent us some artwork and we got it on a t-shirt. So if you need some of that too, make sure you go to the merch store and grab one of Gary's uh, t-shirts. He does he does such a good job with the cartoons and he knows us all too well. But I'll share, I'll share just a couple of things here. This is one of them. Uh, got us a little cartoon character drawn about flipping over cars. If you guys are in the in the industry, you know that you can notch out a board like that and it gives you a little bit of a leverage action to get cars rolled back over so they're not sliding around to you. But just cool things like this. I know I said I wouldn't share this stuff, mm-hmm. but I mean it's just so cool. Gary's like he's got all kinds of things that I could I could do shirts. These are shirt ideas for for days, guys on uh I mean look how cool that is. 
he's got both of us on there pulling cars <laughs> and things like that. But like I said, I'm going to put this together in a scrapbook. And if you guys are ever interested in that, come flip through the scrapbook and talk to us. Gary's cool. Uh, a bunch of those ideas will hopefully make t-shirts. I've got, see I've, see, I've got stuff everywhere, guys. I don't even know who sent me. Um, let me see if I can tell you. This is from Patrick. Patrick Hawkins sent us, wants to meet up, but he sent some more some more trucks. Sweet. So check out these guys. These are these are like rescue. Oh, that's awesome. Um, there's some more stuff in there. But those are fire trucks, and uh, we'll get uh, some more of that stuff. But we've been passing these things out like hotcakes and the kids absolutely love them. Mm -hmm. um, there was another, this was another little cool thing. I don't know what happened. Was it this one? Somebody sent us a five guys. Oh, it's this one right here. <laughs> I wrote it on there. It's on your paper. Okay. It's on the paper, but yeah, I just wanted to share too that, that, that it's things like this <laughs> that keep us going guys i know you send you send this stuff but i mean we're we're over in five guys they say if you're over there towing something you stop into five guys and have lunch on us and they got us a they got us a little a little card there too but it's just cool things like that i mean i, I can't thank you guys enough i never i never thought in a million years and i know i've said it before and i'll say it again we love our youtube friends and family mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate everybody stopping by and doing things for us and we love the meet and greets and the pictures uh someday when i'm can't get out of the, the house i'm going to look back at all of those photos of all of the fantastic people i've got to meet all over the world it really means a lot to me but on that note too uh that's that's important subscribe to the channel guys support your people if you love what we're doing make sure you hit that button we are getting really close to the fifty thousand mark and i do have a dash cam let me see if i can grab i try to get through this guys somebody sent there's a note in there of who it's from I almost forgot. I'm glad you remembered the dash cam. Um, headlight, the rechargeable headlamps from. Oh, that's awesome. I don't have a name, guys. I'm sorry. To Jeff, it's straight from Amazon. Mm -hmm. But I hate not giving recognition. Right. But you, you guys know who you are, and I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't. Oh, from Tall Drink. Tall Drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll say so. So, so Tall awesome. Drink. So, tall Drink has sent us some some headlamps, and they are. Wow, they are cool. I won't lose those. Mm -hmm. Tall drink, thank you very much. Those are in a nice little pouch, and they are the rechargeable headlamps that we can strap around when we're crawling around in these ditches. And that you guys super handy. see, yeah, these are super handy. I've got a couple of pair of them, but these will go in our other truck, and I definitely will use these. Mm -hmm. uh, very handy, keeping things up for you guys too. So if I've got some lights on my head and I've got the chest cam going. Uh, then I can get you guys some better some better videos. I know a lot of people are always wanting some more lighting, and um, we've had some people, you know, kind of complain about some of that stuff. And uh, we try our very best. Uh, number one is to try to get the roads clear and the people safe. And video oftentimes finds a back seat, but uh, with stuff like this, it's uh, it's going good. And uh, we appreciate that tall drink. Um, the like I said, guys, I got sidetracked again. But for the fifty thousand mark, we've got—I don't have it with me. Uh, I've got a jump box that we're going to go and do a giveaway on, and then I've got the newest uh, King Slim dash cam. So we love this one so much, and we've got that upgraded into our tow truck. If you guys seen any of the videos, go back and check out the clarity of this. I'm telling you, this camera has been clearer than most of our 4K GoPro stuff that we're recording from. We've pulled some footage of some accidents and things like that and got it on the computer screen. And they are, wow, King Slim has uh, knocked it out of the park on this one. Uh, but we picked up one of those for the giveaway. So when we get to the 50,000 mark, we are gonna do that in true fashion. As always, that video will get announced. Uh, don't fall for any of the scams. I'm not going to send out messages asking for money. So just stick around and watch for that video. And it's just probably going to be another one of the things we're going to pull random names from the comments when that video does air. So make sure the notification bell is on. Don't want to miss out on our giveaways for either the jump box or the dash cam. It'll probably be in, I don't know, probably what we'll do is just do one video and then we'll pick two people. And then one person will win the dash cam and one person will win the jump box. I think that's probably going to be the easiest thing because we're so crunched on time and, and so many videos. And I want to get this stuff out to you guys immediately. 
uh, when we get to the 50k mark. So when we get to that, make sure that yeah, like that notification bell is is on, so we can get you guys your goodies and show our appreciation for the 50,000 unbelievable milestone. If we can crunch down and get that, then you guys will get me my play button. And my play button is very important to me. I want to get that displayed and I can't believe we're getting close to that. That's really cool. That's awesome. I'm sure I'm missing out on something. It's just overwhelming. That's the amount of support and the people that want to send us stuff. It's just, it's incredible. I'm humbled. It is. It is so cool. We have helped so many people. Oh, that was on my mind too. Just know that this, the support that came in for, for the channel, as far as us helping, that doesn't stop guys. That doesn't stop with, with just the Thanksgiving or the, or the Christmas. We've still got some extra cash from some of the donations that have came in. Those will get out there in the form of videos throughout 2023. I know I've said it before, but yeah, we're looking forward to 2023. We're going to grow. Uh, we're growing the business. We're growing the channel. We've got a lot of good things coming this way. So stick around for those videos, whether we can grab some gas or some food or some waiters, waitress, however we can help in that. We do have those funds still going to kick off in 2023. So I should probably quit rambling, but stacks stacks i've got stacks of stuff <laughs> i've got stuff here in the house that i try to get up i've got stuff in the garage i've had stuff left at the impound lot i just yeah that's so cool I, I don't even know i don't even know how to get through that but you guys are super amazing we love each and every one of you we love hearing from you in the comments i love reading those at night or whenever we get a quick second when we're waiting on a customer to pick up something just whatever it is keep those things coming big thank you to kendra for doing all this stuff. She muscled through and got a whole mess of videos for the month of December out to you guys. And I, and I had some comments for that. <laughs> they were saying you should hire another Kendra because we still <laughs> want a video a day for 2023, 365 videos for 2020. That's uh, I would have to hire more than another Kendra for that, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you, sweetie, for getting through that. And uh, I know we've gotten a lot of people that have, have said thank you in comments. And I do see those comments. And I know Kendra sees them as well. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that I wanted to get through was we got a lot of support from the Smoky Mountain family. Yes. And I am going to give another big apology to not getting that information out there sooner. But like I said, guys, we've had winter storms. We've had Christmas. We've had New Year's. Town has been packed. But... Thank you. If you guys have not subscribed to the Smoky Mountain family, go check out his channel. I'm going to try to get with him and do a collab. I got to briefly talk with him uh, downtown Gatlinburg for the Halloween get together that we did there. We were we were uh, just a brief meeting there, but super cool guy. He sent over a lot of uh, a lot of guys. So if you guys mm -hmm. came from the Smoky Mountain family and you're watching. Uh, Everything Autos, we appreciate you coming over and checking out our channel and vice versa. If you guys have not checked out his channel, do so and we'll try to get with him and do a collab. Super cool guy. I, I've got the opportunity to meet the coolest people from all over the world and it's just all, it all comes together. We appreciate it. What else? The dogs are going crazy. Yeah. Um, they're ready to, to do some zoomies inside the house here some more. I tried to stick them out there on the porch so you wouldn't have to listen to them breathe and... <laughs> Uh, wrestle. They like to get excited on that. But yes, excited news, cool stuff, cool giveaways, um, awesome people. You guys are amazing. I've got to get back to work. It is now 1230 and they're calling me. They're calling me for more illegal parks in Gatlinburg. I probably should have already been there. Truck's running. Truck's running and it's warm. I'm going to grab a jacket and I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, we're over here at the lot, the gravel lot. And we're going to ask to remove this one. You say they're not quite sure what's going on with it. I think it might have been abandoned here. Which, I don't know, it sounds odd, but it happens sometimes. It just, it won't run, it won't start, whatever. And they just park it somewhere and don't come back for it.
Okay, guys, he says it's abandoned. I don't know, not much to see here. We're gonna throw some dollies and uh, get it over to the lot. So stick around, stay tuned, you might get a story. Might not. Okay, YouTube, we made it back over here to the lot. In my previous video, I said that we had a gift that was left for us under the fence over here at our Gatlinburg impound lot. And I went through our gifts that we had had accumulated since Christmas, and uh, I hadn't made it over here to get this one. But uh, Mike and Bonnie Tucker, oh my God. Right when I think I've seen some cool stuff, man. This, um, so I'm not sure if you guys can see the depth. It's it's in like license plate form, but I mean you could put you could put all kinds of cool stuff in the keys, candy. I don't I don't know endless amounts, but I, I don't even know if the camera will catch the detail on that. Let so me, let me maybe angle the light away from it. There we go. So just know like like our logo when we do shirts, the everything part is so tough i mean auto there's not there's not that much going on but to get that gosh dang man i that's just crazy that this is absolutely amazing this is perfect look at the two-tone the two-tone in the wood uh the back they've got the uh made in tennessee and made by mike and bonnie otw designs guys it's even got the date Let's see if you can get their card in here uh, otwdesigns.us is the website go check mike and bonnie out uh, <laughs> this is this is so cool mike and bonnie if you're if you're going to mass produce these things i'll send them straight over to your website so you can you can produce uh you can produce and sell these things um i know all of our subscribers love the, uh, this would be an amazing addition to the to the merch store i can't say enough about it i honestly can't I'm, I'm truly i'm truly overwhelmed i sent uh i sent them a reply back in a text message i'm sorry uh, i didn't get a chance to meet up with them and they had to to slide i'm sorry you had to slide this under the under the fence and i didn't get to talk to you I, I would like to give both of you big hugs and that's cool but anyway guys uh if you're thinking about one of these I'd like to have one of these uh that's how you're going to get a hold of mike and bonnie and uh hopefully they can um uh, they can get you guys fixed up with stuff. that's just that's cool stick around stay tuned Hello. hey this is jeff everything auto i'm sorry i missed your call yes sir um in the morning um to rock my car and i called to my boss and my boss told me uh call to this number and the persons cannot tell you because all the car to rock in the gravel parking and it's for this company so i call for a note so do you have uh, my car yes yes they called us to tow it away okay can you can you tell me who i can uh fix my um uh, recompare my car yeah i can text i'll text you the address is that okay okay yeah i'll text so, you, yeah i'll text you the info Right now, I stay I stay here in the in the work. So, do you can uh, uh, buy my car for the uh, travel parking? No, you'd have to come pick it up. Because oh, I need a go for pickup. Yes. Okay. Well, do you can send me your address? Yes, I'll send it to you. Please. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. What time do I can uh, pick up my car? Um, it'll probably be about 11 o'clock tonight. Tonight. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. When did he send us to you? A long time ago. Sorry. 10.37 a.m. It is now 12.13. Watch that gray truck. it's been here all night or what okay it looks pristine except maybe that passenger door isn't shut 
built with real tornadoes. Anyway, I'm gonna shut this off. We only have 17 minutes memory card. Uh, truck by any chance this morning? You're, you're in a hotel in Gatlinburg? Yeah, it's called Country, country uh, and Sweet. Uh, what kind of truck do you got? Uh, key trucks, I think. Uh, it's a Silverado. Uh, it's a it's a gray Silverado. Yes, ma'am. They they called us for the removal. It, it that's parked in a private lot. All right. Uh, could you give me the address to that a lot, and how much would it be to uh get it out? Uh, it's for the pickup. It's dollars for the pickup. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty, um, could you give me my, the address? Yes, 221 Newman. I can text it to you if that's better. Please and thank you. Yeah, I'll text that information over. Alright, thank uh, you so much. Right, thank you. Bye. Alright, bye-bye. Hey, buddy. You got keys? Yes. Huh? You got, I'll, I'll bring it up here to you. They won't let me let you drive on the lot, man. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 give me just a second. That key's in that console okay, right okay. there. How much? It's. Let me get you the receipt. Okay. Here's that receipt. Okay. Right. Yep. No, not much, much of an explanation on that. They probably uh, didn't see the sign. Hello? For the Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, did, did you not get a parking pass through him? You work uh, for Yeah, I go for Yeah, he said you didn't have a parking pass, so they didn't, you, you need to go to him and make sure you've got a parking pass, because he didn't know it was yours. He called me for the removal. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe it's because I have two cars, but right now the other, uh, the wheel is flat is, uh, yeah, the wheel. The, the tire's flat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and I use this maybe for this, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he called us. He said it, it. he thought it was an abandoned vehicle and he called us to remove it. It said it wasn't supposed to be there. So, obviously he didn't know that you that yeah. you had that one. But you got, do you have keys? Yeah, I have my keys. Yeah, let me, let me go get it for you. I'll bring it up here. Yeah, sure. All right, guys. It's, it's not only out of state people. As you can see, this guy works for the lot you know he's he's worked he works for the company that provides this parking in this parking lot and failed to get his parking pass and get all of that paperwork squared away so that they know and in lot security uh, didn't know it was supposed to be there so it was towed away so unfortunately that's how that works even if you're supposed to be there you still have to uh you still have to do your stuff yeah let me get you this receipt it was for the for the tow there's that receipt you might get that to, to and tell him that you had to pay us maybe he'll help you out on thank you sir. thank you sir be careful out there